Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Well, and welcome to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Another Lesser Antilles knocked off the list, and it is an amazing island, no doubt about it. Actually started off this time at the top of Bakia, which is a proxy island, and you'll have to pardon the wind, but I had to start the intro off here. Great little hike to get up and a 360 view of the island. One of the airports right down there as well. But yeah, so this video, once again, as follows with the other islands, we're gonna be exploring the interior. And although I'm starting on one of the proxy islands of Bakia, we're gonna take a ferry back over to St. Vincent and check out the volcano of La Soufrière, uh, which actually recently erupted not too long ago in April of 2021. So that is what I'll try to document for the majority of this trip. We'll get the action hiking up to the top, right to the summit of the volcanic crater and see what's up there. But before we get over there, let's enjoy Bakia for a little bit more and then take the ferry back over. We cross paths again, sir. Up and over. Thank you, thank you. All right, the early morning wake up. What's up guys? Good morning. Yeah, yeah, all good. All right. Let the hiking begin. I thought you were going to do it in your sandals. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling we're going to make some good time, especially with no sun. Yeah. <laughs> Probably about an hour. Hour 30. Got to make a little competition now. 
So this was the lava flow? Yeah, down the mountain in 1812 eruption. Damn. We also have an eruption in 1902, one in 1905, one in 1971. Ooh. So halfway, but it gets easier because of the wind. Yeah. Like some of that. All right, reach the first layer of clouds. I mean, you can tell everything just got flattened up here. So like imagine this, when it erupted, everything here, no green at all, just all covered with ash. And now you can see all the younger vegetation starting to grow again. Now those nitrates from the volcano be doing work, growing everything, flourishing. So this is the second, the second lava river. Yeah. Okay. Getting more desolate by the minute. Woo. Almost there. That's where my zero traction shoes are uh, not helping at all. That's for sure. Wow. The winds are strong too. Damn. <laughs> All right, well, we made it to the top. Hour 14. It's just cool watching the clouds blow over like that. I mean, literally, we we had just enough visibility to see like the poles in front. Finally a little peaceful, not as much wind. Still no visibility. But what a hike. Pushing it to the limits. All right, we have made the descent into the crater. And just remember, all this down here, it used to be lush vegetation. He told me there was trees taller than him growing in here and the eruption just absolutely blasted everything out. But we have seen signs, a few little plants growing back. So it's only a matter of time. I can't stop collecting all the rocks. Well, now I can officially say I've been in the crater <laughs> of an active volcano. Damn. Epic. Absolutely. The 
and they got the uh, the lake over there, the Sulphur Lake. Take a mud bath in it. For real, I'm not joking. You actually can. Are we talking like room temperature or actually cold, cold? Oh, what? I thought it was a like a hot sulfur spring. No. Confirmed cold. So all these fell down after the eruption, or I guess during the eruption, right? No, after the eruption. Oh, after. Like a year after. Took them a little longer. Let's go. You can actually see the coast finally. Oh, y'all got a pictures with the lava man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot you're famous. <laughs> the lava man. Everyone wants their his picture up here, man. Everyone. Eat it. Yeah. So it's the national flower? Yeah. Alright. Uh, Which one do you get? This one's looking ripe. Yeah. Right, let's give it a shot. It's like green Mmm. It actually does have some uh, flavor to it. Yeah. Oh man, what is that? Almost at the finish line. Just over four hours. Woo! There we go. Appreciate you, man. Lava man. Couldn't have done it without him. Let's go get some uh, jerk chicken. I'm starving. Well deserved. All right, and that concludes the volcanic tour with the lava man. What a guy. What a what a tour, what a hike. But now we're back at the Airbnb. Time to relax. Got fed good. I'm to sit in a chair and not do nothing for a few hours because I'm exhausted after that. Oh. But easy to do when you have views like this.
So if this place doesn't give you dystopian vibes, I don't know what does. But I think this will be the last act for the video. I had an amazing time in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Got to go to a proxy island of Bakia. Got to hike there, go up to the summit, get a nice bird's eye view of the entire island and swim a little bit and relax for once. But we all know the real highlight was on the island of St. Vincent, hiking up to the top of the active volcano of La Soufrière with none other than the Lava Man. I gotta say that was top three hikes I've ever done. Just the elements getting all the way up there. It was gnarly, it was Captain Insano up there and just incredible being inside of the crater to just witness it all. So if you liked what you saw in the video and you wanna do that kind of hike, definitely check out the Lava Man. Uh, give him a shout out on WhatsApp and see if you can get a tour booked with him. But that concludes my time here in St. Vincent. Another Lesser Antilly Island knocked off the list and I think it might be my favorite one thus far. But without further ado, I'm gonna spend the rest of my time in this decrepit old abandoned mansion, apartment, whatever it is, with a beautiful sunset to go along with it. Catch you in the next one.